You see, they were trying to take my phone. This is how they don't know me. This is what I use to record with. Okay? This is what I use. They don't see me record. They don't know anything about me. I don't talk to these people. I have one buddy in this building. She lives in 329. And she was a motivator when it came to um, cleaning up housing because of an incident with what, who I call extended family, Claude, at the Advocate Care. It was disgusting and gross. And then they think I'm going to live in a place and let it go down. I've been in this building for almost five years. Home Forward's name has not been on this building for five years. But as soon as they put their name on this building, it was a cool at first when Megan and Marsha was here. Megan ran the office. Marsha was a, the, the, the janitor guy, the cleaning guy. As soon as these people across the street took over, if you walked in the office and looked at them, you would understand. They look like they're from a park, okay? I'm not dogging people from the park. My baby daddy was in the park. His name is Hicks, and he's an awesome fucking person. But these people across the street and the games they're playing is ridiculous. And the way they have these people intimidated. I stayed home so much, I had no idea. Number one, they home forward to put the name on the door. I had no idea that the majority of the people here are on oxygen and wheelchairs, medicated, or really, really young, their first home away from home or abusive relationship and they got a baby or two, women that have already been abused. So it's easy for a company to come and intimidate these people and do them wrong and then turn right around and try to take all the wrong that they have done and put it back on them. I advise any and everyone, regardless if you have a dispute with any company or anything that you deal with every day that could take your livelihood away from you, get a complete, say complete copy of your any and every file at least twice a year. So when any shit go down, you can open it up and look to see what's there that should not be. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't have company. I, you know, there's nothing they can get me on besides put a person probably on medication. This dude is probably medicated and talked him into it. The only way anybody in this building would know that I'm filming the garbage and dealing with habitability issues only is home forward and the bitches across the street. And my friend in 329, no one knows. No one knew. So the information that that dude got with the orange and black leather jacket, the old scruggly, nasty looking dude that, uh, that put his hands on me, I'm going to tell you something. The order came from across the street, that Tisha Harlan bitch. That order, because the only way dude, Jenner the boy, would know is if she told him. And the only way she would have told him is if Home Forward told them. Because I have not taught, sent them people across the street. I have not sent them shit. Each level up is responsible for the next level down. So when someone is not doing their job, the next level up is not doing their job. They're the ones truly responsible. All this shit that's going on right now that I've researched and started to see what a person go through. This is awesomely, an awesome lesson. This is ridiculous. And you know the bad part is? If I wasn't strong, if I was one of these people outside my door, besides my friend in 329... I would not know to fight. They're acting like they got the garbage fixed, okay? You know, I've been filming and documenting ledgers. I have ledgers. I have logs. When they come, when they go. Twice a day, only in the, the p.m. hours or when a, a, a truck runs. When a garbage truck runs, I will go down and film and take pictures to see what they took and what's left. I I tag garbage. That stuff is marked. But bottom line is this. Trust no one, dudes. Okay? Trust no one.